The tetrahedron of 75 mm long edges has one of its edge parallel to HP and inclined at 45 degrees to VP while a face containing that edge is vertical. Draw its projections. In this problem, now if you take the tetrahedron, tetrahedron is tetrahedron's one edge is parallel to HP and face containing that edge that means this is the face containing that edge this edge is vertical oh, sorry this face is vertical this face is vertical means automatically axe is inclined to HP that means in this problem axe inclination is given indirectly and this axe is inclined to HP so when the axe is inclined to HP according to our standard procedure you have to keep the axis perpendicular to HP when the axis is perpendicular to HP, you will get the true shape and size of the base in the top view. So start your problem from the top view. Draw the top view as shown here. And from the top view, you project the front view. Front view will be something like this. While drawing the front view, axis length is not given in the problem. But for the tetrahedron, all the face sir, all the face edges are equal. And that face edge length is 75 mm. That's why if you consider this particular face edge OC, then automatically this particular OC is uh, parallel to HP. Sorry, parallel to XY. When the top is parallel to XY, you will get the true shape of the line in the front view. This particular face edge you can consider as a straight line inclined to HP and parallel to VP. So the front view of this OC will give you the true length that is nothing but 75. To get O dash, what you have to do is take C dash as center, 75 as radius, try an arc, then you will get O dash. After that, join O dash and B dash. Then you will obtain the front view. Now the simple portion is completed. You have to draw the second stage that means in the second stage you have to represent the axe inclination so axe inclination is given indirectly that means when you are keeping this particular face vertically then automatically this axis will make some angle that is something like this now observe this diagram I have kept this particular face that is O dash B dash and A dash this particular face I have kept vertical then automatically this axis is making some angle with HP you have to reconstruct this figure something like this you take this length mark that in the vertical direction then take this particular length as radius b dash a dash as center draw an arc then this radius this length as radius o dash as center draw another arc then automatically you will get the c dash point this is reconstructed then from the front view you draw the projectors and from the top view you draw the locus lines you will get the intersection point something like this in the second top view after getting this second top view something like this in the third stage we have to represent the edge inclination our reference edge is AB that means here A1 B1 this A1 B1 is making 45 degrees with VP that means here you, you just reconstruct this at an angle of 45 degrees like this draw a 45 degree line along that 45 degree line reconstruct this figure here then the next step is draw the projectors from the top view and locus lines from the front view and obtain the intersection points as shown here when you are seeing like this when you are seeing like this ABC base is visible and completely invisible point is complete invisible point is uh, uh, this particular A2 A2 to O2 A2 O2 this particular uh, face edge is completely invisible base is visible now the final front end top is obtained 